Hi, my name is Irene Gomez. I am classical guitarist and today I am going to talk about the bambuco. The bambuco is a traditional Colombian dance, it's also a rhythm. The bambuco has a, a very interesting uh, blending of a syncopated melody with the bass. Uh, in order to show you a little about the bambuco that I'm going to play, uh, I would like to um, make you aware of the basic rhythm of this um, very interesting Colombian rhythm. So the, normally the harmony starts like this. Usually the rhythm uh, is, is written in 3-4 or in 6-8 and it changes depending on the bambuco. Sometimes one part goes in 3-4 and the second part goes in 6-8 or vice versa. But in this one, the one that I'm, I'm playing today, it starts in 3-4. So the basic rhythm is like this. just the basic rhythm and with the harmony sounds more or less like this so as you have seen this rhythm is a syncopated style like in the second eighth on the first beat and usually the bass goes in the second and third beat of the measure the, the bass in this case would be like this So if we put together these two elements, the rhythm of the bambuco would sound like this. So this basis in this um, basic rhythm, uh, Juan Carlos Guillo, which is a Colombian composer, creates a bambuco called cacao. Uh, that means chocolate and in this bambuco is a more elaborated way but in the in the deep of the this bambuco the rhythm is like the one that I just show you so it, he start like this <laughs> When he puts together this melody with the bass in this piece, uh, what he so it sounds like this. first part of the bambuco. So now the second part in this bambuco, uh, it makes a change to 6-8, it means a, a double meter. Uh, so the composer, uh, he, he is inspired in the same melody of the beginning. <laughs> sounds same basic rhythm, syncopated melody and the bass in the second and third beat of the measure. In the third part of the bambuco, uh, he goes to a major uh, key signature and uh, it has again a 6-8 way of measure, so it sounds more or less like this.
as you noticed, uh, in this bambuco also, uh, what is interesting is that the composer uses uh, a more modern language, even though the bambuco is a very important rhythm from the 19th century, but composers nowadays try to add uh, a more contemporary language. So, in, in a few words, this is what is the Colombian bambuco. Uh, I am going to play the complete piece right now, so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, Colombian rhythm. So, I am going to play now the cacao, which is a Colombian bambuco written by Juan Carlos Guillo. <laughs> 